So Ruth, as we talk about a potential next president, your column is about the previous president. You criticized President Obama for hitting the big money speaking circuit after reports say he and the former first lady also signed a $60 million joint book deal. You write in part, in collecting $400,000 from a Wall Street investment firm to make a single speech, Barack Obama is following in the Gucci-clad footsteps of past presidents. But to acknowledge that Obama has plenty of precedent on his side is not to say that his choice is wise. Indeed, it's unfortunate. Obama's propulsion onto the lecture circuit arrives at a moment of populist disgust with Wall Street greed and the Washington swamp. It comes after a campaign in which Hillary Clinton's Goldman Sachs speaking fees become a symbol of entitled elitism. So imagine the powerful message Obama would have sent, the reverse precedent, had he chosen to renounce this road to riches. And Ruth, you actually had Elizabeth Warren herself saying she was troubled by the reports that he was taking $400,000 from Wall Street, especially given the attacks he made on Wall Street over the last um, eight years or so. Is he not, though, entitled? He's not running for office the way Hillary Clinton was. It's not something he has to think about. Is he not entitled to go make money as he pleases? He is totally entitled to go make money, um, and legally he's totally entitled to go make money as he pleases. And historically, as I said, um, this is a well-trodden path. Um, but he uh, could have sent, he could have chosen to send a different message. And by the way, in terms of making money, his book deals are, his and Michelle Obama, the former first lady's book deals are reported to be somewhere between 60 and $65 million. Seems like a lot of money to me, enough to live on, give a lot to charity, help your foundation. And it w look, th this goes back to what we were talking about earlier and the ability of the Democrats Democrats to speak to voters um, who feel like the Democratic Party and Washington do, are not attentive to their issues. Just think about the signal it would have sent if the former president had just quietly said, I'm not going on the lecture circuit. It would have, um, not that Donald Trump would have renounced the lecture circuit in the future. He's going to make money when he leaves office and all the ways he likes to make money. But it would have said, enough is enough. We are not the party of Wall Street. Uh, President Obama, I'm going to say this in a little bit of a sharp way, did not leave the Democratic Party in great shape. Maybe he could have helped it a little bit by not opening this front of, I'm sure you're going to hear Republican candidates talking about him vacuuming up checks. It um, somewhat tarnishes his um, power as a surrogate for candidates. And it, I'm not saying it's uh, logical yeah. or um, compelled, but it would have been a nice signal if he had done it. And um, I've been yeah. writing about this problem with lots of different presidents.